Welcome back to Stellar Eureka. Today, we traverse the globe to witness the 25 most wonderful natural phenomena in the world. From the river of seven colors to the great blue hole, each phenomenon is a testament to the planet's incredible natural artistry. Light pillars. You find yourself in a frosty winter wonderland, the air sharp and invigorating. Out of nowhere, the sky transforms into an otherworldly display of vertical beams of light, ascending as though striving to touch the stars. This captivating scene is the magic of light pillars, an optical phenomenon that manifests in just the perfect conditions. Light pillars appear when tiny ice crystals suspended in the Earth's atmosphere reflect artificial or natural light sources such as streetlights, the moon, or the sun. These crystals, shaped like flat hexagonal plates, act like miniature mirrors, reflecting the light sources directly above or below them. The result is a series of spectacular column-like beams that seem to emanate from the ground or descend from the sky. This phenomenon is most commonly seen in polar regions or during frigid winter nights when the air is filled with these floating ice crystals. The colder the temperature, the more likely you are to witness this breathtaking display. Each light pillar is unique, varying in brightness, color, and length depending on the light source and the atmospheric conditions. But there's more to light pillars than just their stunning beauty. They are a testament to the intricate interplay between light and the natural world, showcasing the delicate balance of our planet's atmosphere. For photographers and nature enthusiasts, capturing the fleeting beauty of light pillars is a coveted achievement, a chance to immortalize a moment of natural artistry. The Wave Rock Formation This is a mesmerizing sandstone rock formation located near the Arizona-Utah border. Situated on the slopes of the Coyote Buttes in the Paria Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness, the wave is a testament to the artistic prowess of nature itself. Renowned among hikers and photographers for its vibrant undulating forms, the wave presents a visual feast of colorful swirling patterns carved into Navajo sandstone of Jurassic age. The formation comprises two major troughs, their steep sinuous walls shaped by the relentless forces of wind and water. This geological marvel, revealing the rhythmic and cyclic patterns of ancient sand dunes, stands as a monument to the dynamic processes that have shaped our planet. But the allure of the wave goes beyond its visual splendor. In its vicinity are traces of the distant past, where the sands once trampled by dinosaurs have turned to stone, preserving their footprints for millennia. These deformed lamini within the wave hold stories of a prehistoric era, adding an aura of mystery to this already enchanting landscape. Visiting this surreal formation is a coveted experience, yet one that requires planning and a touch of luck being such a popular destination for hikers and photographers alike, it's not an easy place to get to. Due to the fragile nature of the formation and the large number of people wishing to visit it, a daily lottery system is used to dispense permits for up to 16 people and or four groups, whichever comes first, two days before. So, if you're ever in the mood for an adventure that combines the thrill of exploration with the beauty of nature, remember the wave. It's a reminder of the extraordinary, ever-changing canvas of our planet and a place where the forces of nature come together to create something truly magical. Super Bloom This rare and breathtaking event transforms landscapes into vibrant tapestries of color, creating a paradise for nature lovers and photographers alike. Picture a vast arid landscapes, usually barren and subdued, suddenly bursting into life with an explosion of wildflowers. The superbloom is a phenomenon that occurs when conditions are just right, usually following unusually wet winters. These rains awaken the dormant seeds lying beneath the desert soil, leading to a riot of color that can be seen from miles away. Record-breaking rain in California. It's created an unexpected and beautiful <gasps> springtime oh. surprise, this explosion of wildflowers all across the state. Entire hillsides are springing back to life after several years of drought. The most famous super blooms occur in California, particularly in places like the Anza Borrego Desert State Park and the Antelope Valley California Poppy Reserve. Here, the normally stark landscapes are transformed into seas of orange poppies, 
purple lupines, and yellow goldfields. It's a rare feast for the eyes, a reminder of the resilience and beauty of nature. But the superbloom isn't just a visual spectacle, it's a vital ecological event. It supports a diverse range of wildlife, providing nourishment and habitat for countless insects, birds, and other animals. The bloom attracts pollinators in droves, ensuring the continuation of these floral species. Experiencing a superbloom is like stepping into a living painting. The hills and valleys roll and ripple with color, and the air is filled with the buzz of life. It's a fleeting miracle, often lasting just a few weeks before the harsh desert conditions return. The super bloom reminds us of the delicate balance of our ecosystems and the wonders that can occur when nature is left to its own devices. It's a celebration of life, resilience, and the ever-changing beauty of our planet. Lightning Storm at Catatumbo River This isn't just any ordinary lightning, it's a relentless, awe-inspiring light show that dances over the Catatumbo River where it meets Lake Maracaibo. Picture this, night falls and the skies above the river come alive with a dazzling display of nature's fireworks. The Catatumbo lightning is no fleeting spectacle, it's a marathon of electric splendor. For up to 160 nights a year, the sky is ablaze with up to 40 lightning flashes per minute each one illuminating the night with brilliant streaks of light. You might just witness this incredible natural phenomenon that lights up the sky like nothing else on Earth. This phenomenon is so bright and consistent that it's been dubbed the Lighthouse of Maracaibo, guiding sailors through the darkness with its natural beacon. The science behind this phenomenon is as fascinating as the spectacle itself. It's believed that the unique geography of the region where warm winds from the Caribbean Sea meet the cool air over the Andes Mountains creates the perfect storm conditions for this never-ending lightning. Add to that the mix of methane from oil fields and the warm, moist air from the boggy plains and you've got the recipe for one of the most stunning light shows nature has to offer. So, if you're ever in Venezuela and find yourself near Lake Maracaibo at night, look towards the Catatambo River. You might just witness this incredible natural phenomenon that lights up the sky like nothing else on Earth. Fata Morgana, Mirage. Imagine gazing out over the horizon only to see fantastical cities, castles, and ships appear out of thin air. These are not the creations of fiction, but the work of Fata Morgana a mirage that distorts distant objects, creating surreal landscapes that seem to defy the laws of nature. Fata Morgana occurs when layers of warm and cold air overlap, creating a unique atmospheric condition known as a temperature inversion. This inversion bends light rays as they pass through air layers of different temperatures, resulting in these extraordinary visual distortions. The beauty of Fata Morgana lies in its ever-changing nature. One moment, you might see a distant ship hovering above the ocean's surface. The next, an upside-down cityscape or a series of towering spires. It's like watching a painter constantly reworking their canvas, each stroke adding to the mystery and allure. This phenomenon is named after Morgan Le Fay, the enchantress from the legend of King Arthur, believed to have the power to create castles in the air. And indeed, witnessing a Fata Morgana feels like stepping into a world of magic and enchantment. Fata Morgana can be seen in various parts of the world, from the polar regions to the deserts and the high seas. It's a reminder of the incredible tricks light and nature can play on our perception, blurring the lines between reality and illusion. Halos and Sundogs These ethereal phenomena are not just beautiful, they're a dance of light and ice playing out in the vast theater of our atmosphere. Picture this, a crisp, cold day, the sun shining in a clear blue sky, and suddenly you notice a stunning ring of light encircling the sun. This is a halo, a 22-degree ring of pure ethereal beauty. It's like a giant, luminous eye gazing down from the heavens, a circle of light that seems almost otherworldly. But the wonder doesn't end there. Often accompanying halos are sundogs, also known as parhelia. These bright spots of light appear on either side of the sun, like loyal companions to the daytime star. They're like miniature suns themselves, casting a warm, radiant glow that contrasts with the cool halo. So, what creates these mesmerizing visions? 
The secret lies in the sky's tiny ice crystals. When sunlight passes through these crystals, it bends and refracts, splitting into its constituent colors and creating these magical rings and bright spots. It's a delicate interplay of light, ice, and the laws of physics, resulting in a spectacle that's both stunning and fleeting. Halos and sun dogs are not just beautiful, they're a testament to the intricate and delicate balance of our planet's atmosphere. They remind us that even the air we breathe is a canvas for nature's artistry. These phenomena can be seen all around the world, from the icy poles to the temperate zones. Columnar Basalt Formations Imagine towering pillars of rock, perfectly hexagonal like the cells of a honeycomb, stretching skyward in a display of nature's precision. These formations are the result of basalt, a type of volcanic rock, cooling and contracting in such a way that it fractures into these stunning regular columns. But what's truly fascinating is the journey of this rock. Basalt begins as mafic lava, oozing from the Earth's fiery belly, rich in iron and magnesium. This lava flows like a river of molten darkness, covering vast areas before it begins to cool. And as it cools, a transformation occurs. The rock contracts and these incredible columns start to take shape. The story of basalt stretches beyond our planet too. This humble rock forms the surface of distant worlds, the rolling plains of Venus, the mysterious lunar Maria, and even the red dust of Mars. It's a cosmic traveler, a piece of the universe right beneath our feet. The size of these columns is a clue to their past. The quicker the lava cooled, the smaller the columns. The slower the cooling, the larger and more majestic they become. It's like nature's own version of time-lapse photography capturing the cooling process in stone. And where can you witness these geological giants? From the legendary Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, a stepping stone path of myth and legend, to the Devil's Postpile in California, a natural fortress of towering rock. These formations are scattered across the globe, each telling its own story of Earth's volcanic past. Great Blue Hole This massive underwater sinkhole is not just a marvel to behold, it's a journey into the depths of Earth's history. Visualize a vast circular chasm over 300 meters across and 124 meters deep, with waters so deep and dark blue they seem to belong to another world. The Great Blue Hole is a natural phenomenon that captivates divers, scientists, and adventurers alike. Formed during the last ice age, this giant submarine sinkhole is part of the larger Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It illustrates the formidable forces of time and nature, as rising sea levels transformed dry limestone caves into flooded areas. Diving into the Great Blue Hole is like exploring an alien planet. As you descend, the light fades and the walls of the hole narrow, enveloping you in an otherworldly embrace. Stalactites hang from the overhangs, some over 6 meters long, remnants of a time when this place was above water. But the Great Blue Hole isn't just a spectacle for divers. It's a window into Earth's past, offering clues about climate change and geological processes. Scientists have even found evidence of ancient Maya settlements in the sediment at the bottom adding a layer of mystery to this already enigmatic place. The Great Blue Hole is a reminder of the incredible beauty and complexity of our planet. It's a place where the past and present merge, where every dive is an exploration of a world that once was. Volcanic Lightning Imagine standing at a safe distance witnessing a volcano erupting into the sky. As the ash plume rises, you see something extraordinary flashes of lightning streaking through the billowing clouds of ash. This is volcanic lightning, a rare and mesmerizing spectacle that occurs during some of the most powerful volcanic eruptions. Volcanic lightning is more than just a stunning visual phenomenon. It's a fascinating scientific mystery. Scientists believe that it occurs when particles within the volcanic ash collide and generate static electricity. As the ash plume rises and spreads, these charged particles create an electrical field strong enough to produce lightning. The intense heat, the turbulent motion of the ash, and the presence of ice particles in the plume all contribute to this electrifying event. 
this phenomenon is not just a fleeting moment of beauty, it's a crucial indicator for scientists studying volcanic eruptions. The presence of lightning can provide valuable information about the intensity of the eruption, the composition of the ash, and the potential impact on the surrounding environment. Volcanic lightning is most commonly observed in large explosive eruptions, where vast amounts of ash and rock are thrown into the atmosphere. Some of the most famous occurrences have been observed at volcanoes like Mount St. Helens in the United States, Ejaf Jalaikul in Iceland, and Mount Sakurajima in Japan. Witnessing volcanic lightning is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, a reminder of the incredible forces at work beneath the Earth's surface. It's a phenomenon that combines the fiery power of a volcano with the electric intensity of a thunderstorm, creating a spectacle that is both terrifying and beautiful. Nacreous clouds. High above the Earth's surface in the stratosphere, these iridescent clouds paint the polar skies with a palette of vivid colors. Nacreous clouds, also known as polar stratospheric clouds, are more than just a visual wonder. They play a significant role in our planet's atmospheric chemistry. These clouds form at altitudes of 15 to 25 kilometers, where the air is exceptionally cold often below minus 80 degrees Celsius. They are composed of ice crystals or a mixture of ice and nitric acid or sulfuric acid. It's this unique composition that gives nacreous clouds their brilliant mother-of-pearl hues. As the sun's rays hit these high-altitude clouds, they diffract and scatter, creating a stunning display of colors that can range from pink to green to blue. But the beauty of nacreous clouds comes with a darker side. They are involved in the depletion of the ozone layer. Chemical reactions on the surface of these clouds lead to the formation of chlorine and bromine compounds which can destroy ozone molecules. This process is particularly intense during the polar spring, leading to the formation of the infamous ozone holes over the Antarctic and occasionally the Arctic. Nacreous clouds are most commonly seen in the polar regions, particularly during the winter months. Observing these clouds is a rare treat, as they require specific atmospheric conditions to form. For those lucky enough to witness them, the experience is nothing short of magical. The sky transforms into a canvas of shimmering colors, a reminder of the delicate balance and beauty of our planet's atmosphere. Spotted Lake Nestled in the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia, Canada, lies the Spotted Lake, a geological marvel that captivates and mystifies. As we approach this unique lake, it's hard not to be struck by its otherworldly appearance. During the summer months, the water in the lake evaporates, revealing hundreds of mineral-rich pools, each a different color. These spots can range from blue and green to yellow and orange, depending on the concentration of minerals like magnesium sulfate, calcium and sodium sulfates. It's a kaleidoscope of colors that changes with the seasons and the shifting mineral composition. But the Spotted Lake is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a place of deep cultural significance. Known as Kliluk to the indigenous Silks people, this lake is considered sacred and has been revered for its therapeutic properties for centuries. The minerals in the lake are believed to have healing powers and the site has been a place of pilgrimage for those seeking physical and spiritual healing. The science behind the Spotted Lake's unique appearance is as fascinating as its history. The high concentration of various minerals, formed through thousands of years of natural processes, is responsible for the lake's distinctive spots. In the summer, as the water evaporates under the hot sun, these minerals crystallize, creating natural walkways around the pools. Visiting the Spotted Lake is a surreal experience. As you walk around the mineral pools, it feels like stepping into a living, breathing piece of art. Each step reveals a new pattern, a new color, a new wonder. It's a reminder of the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet's natural landscapes. The Spotted Lake is a testament to the mysteries and marvels of nature. It's a place where science and spirituality, history and geology, beauty and wonder converge door to hell. We are venturing into the heart of Turkmenistan to witness a fiery spectacle known as the door to hell. This burning gas crater, located in the Karakum Desert near the village of Derwiz, is a site that seems straight out of a mythological tale. 
As we approach this infernal abyss, the first thing that strikes us is the intense heat and the roaring sound of flames. The door to hell is a massive crater, about 70 meters wide and 30 meters deep, with a blazing inferno at its core that has been burning continuously since 1971. The sight of this fiery pit, especially at night, is both mesmerizing and intimidating, resembling a gateway to the underworld. The story behind the door to hell is as intriguing as its appearance. It began during a Soviet gas exploration mission. Geologists drilling at the site accidentally tapped into a massive underground natural gas cavern, causing the ground to collapse and the drilling rig to fall in. Fearing the release of poisonous gases, the scientists decided to burn off the gas, expecting it to extinguish in a few weeks. However, the natural gas supply proved far more extensive and the crater has been burning ever since. This accidental creation has now become one of the most unusual tourist attractions in the world. The door to hell offers a unique spectacle, the sight of massive flames and boiling mud at the bottom of a large crater, all under the vast expanse of the desert sky. It's a stark reminder of the raw, untamed power of nature and the unexpected consequences of human intervention. As we stand at the edge of the crater, feeling the heat on our faces and watching the flames dance in the abyss, it's hard not to be awed by the sheer scale and energy of this phenomenon. The door to hell is a rare and extraordinary testament to the geological wonders of our planet, a fiery marvel that continues to fascinate and mystify all who witness it. Ice circles. We are venturing into the chilly realms of the Northern Hemisphere to uncover the enigma of ice circles, a mesmerizing winter spectacle that has puzzled and fascinated observers for years. A large floating ice disk about 55 feet around that's spinning it's in the river. These ice circles or ice disks are rare natural occurrences that create a stunning visual effect, almost as if a giant artist had sculpted them in the frozen waters. Ice circles typically form in slow-moving water in cold, but not freezing, climates. They can range in size, some as small as a few feet across, while others can span an impressive 50 feet in diameter. The formation of these icy wonders is a result of a complex interplay between water temperature, currents, and atmospheric conditions. The science behind these spinning ice formations is as intriguing as their appearance. They form in eddy currents, a swirling motion of water that occurs when faster moving water passes a slower or stationary section. As the eddy spins, it grinds against the surrounding ice, smoothing it into a circular shape. The temperature difference between the warmer water below and the colder air above also plays a role, causing the ice to freeze in a distinct circular pattern. But there's more to these ice circles than just their scientific explanation. They are a breathtaking sight, offering a glimpse into the intricate and beautiful patterns that nature can create. Observers lucky enough to witness an ice circle often describe the experience as surreal and otherworldly, a moment where time seems to stand still as they watch the gentle rotation of these icy formations. Pink Lake, Lake Hillier. This is a lake that defies the norms of nature, a surreal spectacle that dazzles with a pink hue so vivid it seems otherworldly. Welcome to Lake Hillier, a natural wonder tucked away on Middle Island off the southern coast of Western Australia. This lake is not known for its size, measuring a mere 600 meters in length, but for its enchanting bubblegum pink color that stands in stark contrast to the blue vastness of the Pacific Ocean. This pink paradise is more than just a feast for the eyes. It's a scientific enigma. The peculiar color of Lake Hillier, permanent and unchanging even when the water is contained, is a puzzle that has long intrigued scientists. Recent studies suggest the hue results from a symphony of extremophiles, microorganisms thriving in the lake's salty environment, about eight times saltier than the ocean. These include a mix of colorful microbes such as purple sulfur bacteria, red-orange salinibacter ruber, and the red-colored algae Dunaliella salina. It's believed that these organisms' carotenoids, pigments also found in carrots, might be protecting them against the extreme saltiness. Lake Hillier's discovery dates back to 1802 thanks to the explorer Matthew Flinders. Its vibrant color remains throughout the year, 
unaffected by water removal and is strikingly prominent from an aerial view, less so from the shoreline. The lake is bordered by a ribbon of sand and a lush woodland of paper bark and eucalyptus trees, adding to its picturesque allure. Despite its high salinity, comparable to the Dead Sea, Lake Hillier is safe for swimming, though it's not accessible for casual tourism. The lake, once a site for salt mining, now captivates visitors from around the world, primarily through scenic flights and cruises, offering a unique glimpse of this pink marvel from above. Mamatus Clouds These unique cloud formations, resembling a field of cotton balls suspended in the sky, are a rare and captivating sight. Mamatus Clouds, also known as Mamatocumulus, are characterized by their distinct pouch-like structures hanging from the underside of a cloud. These bulbous, protruding formations can extend for hundreds of miles in each direction, creating a surreal and dramatic landscape in the sky. The name Mamatus is derived from the Latin word mama, meaning udder or breast, aptly describing their appearance. These clouds are often associated with severe weather conditions and can be found on the underside of a cumulonimbus or thunderstorm cloud. However, their presence doesn't always indicate an impending storm. Sometimes they simply add an artistic touch to the sky after the storm has passed. The formation of Mamatus clouds is a fascinating meteorological phenomenon. They occur when cold air within the cloud sinks down into warmer air, creating these unique bulbous shapes. The interplay of light and shadow on these clouds, especially around sunrise or sunset, can create a breathtaking display of colors, adding to their allure. Mamatus clouds are not just a visual treat, they're also a subject of scientific interest. Meteorologists study these clouds to better understand weather patterns and predict severe weather events. For photographers and sky watchers, they provide an exceptional opportunity to capture the beauty and power of nature. Bloodfalls. We venture now to the heart of Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys and witness a spectacle that defies the frozen landscape, Bloodfalls, a chilling name for an extraordinary sight. Here, a crimson cascade tumbles from the Taylor Glacier, painting the white ice with strokes of deep red. Discovered in 1911 by geologist Thomas Griffith Taylor, this eerie wonder was initially thought to be red algae. The truth, however, is more intriguing. The red hue comes from iron oxide, rusting as it hits the oxygen-rich air. But what's truly mesmerizing lies beneath. A subglacial pool, unknown in size and isolated for millions of years under 400 meters of ice, feeds bloodfalls. Here, in this ancient reservoir, life thrives in total darkness and extreme cold. A rare ecosystem of autotrophic bacteria, these microbes have adapted to survive in hypersaline iron-rich waters, almost completely devoid of oxygen. Their existence challenges our understanding of life, offering clues to how organisms might survive on distant icy worlds. This revelation not only sheds light on Earth's subglacial realms, but also presents implications for celestial bodies within our solar system. Saturn's moons, Jupiter's moon Europa, Pluto and Mars, which are believed to harbor sub-cryospheric oceans. This frozen time capsule, sealed off from the world 1.5 to 2 million years ago, harbors secrets of Earth's past and hints at life's resilience in the most extreme conditions. Bloodfalls isn't just a marvel of nature, it's a window into the enduring tenacity of life itself, inviting us to question what else lies hidden beneath the ice, both on our planet and beyond. Monarch Butterfly Migration Each year, millions of monarch butterflies embark on an epic migration, a journey that spans thousands of miles. These delicate creatures, weighing less than a gram, travel from the cool regions of Canada and the United States to the warmer climes of central Mexico. An estimated 200,000 migrating western monarchs are spending the winter here in California. It's a journey that's as perilous as it is awe-inspiring. The monarch's migration is a multi-generational odyssey. No single butterfly completes the round trip. Instead, it's a relay race across generations. The butterflies that return to Mexico are the great-grandchildren of the ones that left. This cycle, a seamless blend of endurance and instinct, is one of nature's most remarkable navigational feats. But why do they undertake this arduous journey? The answer lies in survival. 
monarchs migrate to escape the harsh winter and to find the milkweed plants essential for laying their eggs. Mexico's Oyamelfer forest provide the perfect sanctuary, offering a stable microclimate and protection from predators. The sight of millions of monarchs clustering together in the Mexican forest is nothing short of magical. Trees, branches and leaves are cloaked in a vibrant orange and black tapestry, fluttering and shimmering in the sunlight. It's a breathtaking display of nature's splendor and a testament to the interconnectedness of our ecosystems. Yet, this incredible phenomenon faces threats. Habitat loss, climate change and pesticide use are putting the monarch's migration at risk. Last year, only 2,000 were spotted and they were thought to be on the verge of extinction. Conservation efforts are crucial to ensure that this awe-inspiring migration continues for generations to come. Underwater Waterfall, Mauritius Nestled in the Indian Ocean, the island of Mauritius is home to one of the most breathtaking optical illusions on Earth. Off its southwestern coast, the ocean appears to cascade into an abyss, creating the illusion of a dramatic cascading underwater waterfall. This stunning visual effect is a masterpiece of nature's artistry, leaving viewers in awe. But what's the secret behind this remarkable phenomenon? It's all about underwater topography and sand movements. The illusion is created by the runoff of sand and silt deposits, which, when viewed from above, give the impression of a waterfall plunging into the depths of the ocean. The varying shades of blue, from turquoise to deep blue, enhance this illusion, creating a vivid contrast that accentuates the effect. The underwater waterfall is located near the shore of Le Morne Brabant, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its rich history and breathtaking landscapes. The area's unique underwater topography features a sudden drop-off or a submarine cliff which contributes to the waterfall illusion. This drop-off is a result of the movement of tectonic plates which have sculpted the ocean floor over millions of years. This natural wonder is best appreciated from the air where the full scale and beauty of the illusion can be truly grasped. Helicopter tours offer a bird's eye view of this spectacular site, providing an unforgettable experience for nature enthusiasts and photographers alike. The underwater waterfall is not just a visual treat, it's also a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. The constant movement of sand and silt driven by ocean currents continually reshapes this underwater landscape, making each visit a unique experience. Morning Glory Clouds These rare and majestic formations are a meteorological phenomenon that will leave you spellbound. Picture a serene morning, the sun just peeking over the horizon, and then out of nowhere, a colossal rolling cloud stretches across the sky. This is no ordinary cloud, it's the morning glory, a unique and awe-inspiring sight that occurs in very few places on Earth. One of the most famous locations to witness this phenomenon is the Gulf of Carpentaria in northern Australia. The morning glory cloud can span up to 1,000 kilometers long and 2 kilometers high, moving at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. It's like a giant atmospheric wave, a rolling carpet in the sky that sweeps across the landscape with grace and power. The sight is so mesmerizing that it attracts glider pilots from around the world eager to ride these exceptional airwaves. But what creates this extraordinary spectacle? The morning glory clouds are formed by a unique set of meteorological conditions. When humid, tropical air collides with cooler, drier air, it creates a horizontal vortex. This clash of air masses combined with the Earth's rotation and the specific geography of the region gives birth to these rolling clouds. The best time to witness this phenomenon is during the early spring, typically from late September to early November. For the local indigenous people, the morning glory clouds hold cultural significance and are linked to ancient myths and stories. They are seen as a reminder of the connection between the land, the sky and the people. Experiencing the morning glory clouds is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Whether you're gliding through these clouds or watching them from the ground, their majestic beauty is a reminder of the wonders that our natural world holds. Bioluminescent Waves We're diving now into the enchanting world of bioluminescent waves 
a natural spectacle that transforms the ocean into a canvas of glowing light. This phenomenon is not just beautiful, it's a glimpse into the mysterious life of the ocean depths. Imagine walking along a beach at night when suddenly the waves start to glow with an ethereal blue light. It's like a scene from a fantasy movie, but it's real and it's absolutely breathtaking. This magical display is caused by bioluminescent plankton, tiny marine organisms that emit light when they are disturbed by the movement of the water. This natural phenomenon can be witnessed in various parts of the world, including the Maldives, Puerto Rico, California, and Australia. Each location offers a unique experience, but the site is universally magical. The best time to see bioluminescent waves is on a dark night, away from city lights, where the ocean can truly show off its glowing splendor. But why do these tiny organisms light up? Bioluminescence serves several purposes in the marine world. It can be a defense mechanism to confuse predators, a way to attract prey, or a means of communication between organisms. The light emitted by this plankton is a survival tool in the vast and dark ocean. For us, witnessing bioluminescent waves is a reminder of the wonders hidden in our oceans. It's a natural art show that leaves spectators in awe. Whether you're kayaking through glowing waters or watching the waves crash onto a luminous shore, the experience is unforgettable. Moonbow Imagine a night where the sky is clear, the full moon is shining bright, and you're near a waterfall or in the presence of light rain. Suddenly, you witness a magical arc of light, a lunar rainbow, painting the night sky. This is the moonbow, a rare and ethereal sight that occurs under just the right conditions. Unlike a regular rainbow, which is created by sunlight, a moonbow is formed by moonlight. It's a much rarer occurrence because the light from the moon is much fainter than the sun. For a moonbow to appear, the moon must be low, the sky dark, and there must be moisture in the air in the form of rain, mist, or spray from a waterfall. Moonbows are often less colorful than their daytime counterparts due to the lower intensity of moonlight. They often appear as white arcs, with colors being faint or even invisible to the naked eye. However, with long exposure photography, the true colors of a moonbow can be captured, revealing subtle hues of red, yellow, green, and blue. One of the best places to witness this nocturnal marvel is at waterfalls, where the mist creates the perfect conditions for a moonbow. Cumberland Falls in Kentucky, USA, and Victoria Falls on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe are known for their frequent moonbow occurrences. The moonbow is not just a beautiful sight, it's a reminder of the intricate interplay of light, water, and atmosphere. It's a phenomenon that has inspired myths, legends, and a sense of wonder throughout the ages. River of Seven Colors This natural masterpiece is a kaleidoscope of vibrant hues, a living, flowing rainbow nestled in the Serrania de la Macarena, right into the heart of Colombia. This river transforms into a tapestry of colors, a vivid display of nature's artistry. From late July to November, Caño Cristales bursts into a spectrum of reds, yellows, greens, blues, and blacks. This miraculous transformation is thanks to a unique aquatic plant called Macarinia clavigera, which flourishes in the river's conditions. The river's journey begins in the remote, mountainous region of Meta, where it winds through a landscape untouched by time. As the waters flow, they create a series of rapids, waterfalls, and pools, each a canvas for the colorful display. The reds of the Macarinia clavigera are the most striking, creating a stark contrast against the river's crystal clear waters. But Caño Cristales is more than just a visual wonder, it's a delicate ecosystem home to a variety of flora and fauna, some of which are endemic to the region. The river's unique geological formations, combined with its biological diversity, make it a natural treasure and a symbol of Colombia's rich natural heritage. Visiting Caño Cristales is an adventure in itself. The journey to this remote paradise involves traveling through rugged terrain, but the reward is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The river's beauty is a reminder of the importance of preserving our natural wonders. Sailing Stones We set our sights now on one of nature's most baffling phenomena, the Sailing Stones of Death Valley. Nestled in the harsh yet beautiful landscape of California's Death Valley National Park, 
these stones are famous for their mysterious, unaided movement across the flat, dry surface of racetrack playa. Large rocks, some tipping the scales at hundreds of pounds, create long, serpentine trails behind them, as though they have traversed the desert floor on their own. This phenomenon has baffled scientists for years and captured the curiosity of many. The question arises, how do these massive stones drift across the parched, cracked terrain without any human or animal assistance? The mystery of the sailing stones remained unsolved until recent years when researchers finally uncovered the secret behind this strange phenomenon. It turns out that a unique combination of natural events is responsible. During the rare occasions when the playa fills with water, a thin layer of ice forms under cold winter night skies. As the morning sun warms the ice, it breaks into large floating panels. Light winds then drive these ice sheets, along with the stones embedded in them, across the playa, leaving trails in the soft mud below. The trails of the sailing stones vary in length and direction, some straight and others curving, creating intricate patterns on the playa's surface. Each stone's path tells a story of its silent, slow-paced journey, a testament to the subtle yet powerful forces of nature at work. Visiting racetrack Playa and witnessing the aftermath of this extraordinary phenomenon is a surreal experience. It's a reminder of the many wonders that still exist in the natural world, often hidden in plain sight. Salar de Uyuni Venture into the mesmerizing world of Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia's unparalleled natural wonder, often hailed as the mirror of the sky. This marvel, located in southwest Bolivia, isn't just a salt flat. It's a vast canvas where the earth meets the sky, creating an ethereal mirage. Spanning an impressive 10,582 square kilometers, Salar de Uyuni holds the title of the world's largest salt flat presenting an infinite stretch of white that blurs the lines between reality and illusion. During the rainy season, from December to April, the flats undergo a magical transformation. A thin layer of water covers this expansive terrain, turning it into a dazzling, reflective surface mirroring the heavens above. It's a surreal experience, akin to walking on a vast, tranquil sea with the sky both above and beneath your feet. This phenomenon creates the largest natural mirror on Earth, offering a dreamlike illusion of walking in the sky. But Salar de Uyuni isn't just about breathtaking views. It's also a significant source of lithium containing 70% of the world's known reserves hidden beneath its crystalline surface. For those adventurous souls eager to witness this spectacle, tours are available particularly during the rainy season when the salt flats transformation is most pronounced. However, if you visit during the dry season, don't be disheartened. The striking white plains of the salt flats, though not mirror-like, are still a sight to behold. When planning your visit, remember a few practical tips. The salt flats high altitude over 3,600 meters above sea level requires some acclimatization to prevent altitude sickness. The weather conditions can be extreme, with temperatures plummeting at night, so packing warm clothing and a sleeping bag is essential. And during your exploration, don't forget to stay hydrated, protect yourself from the relentless sun, and be prepared for the salt water that can cover the ground up to ankle depth during the rainy season. Visiting Salar de Uyuni is a sensory and spiritual experience, where the boundaries between sky and earth blur, and the horizon stretches into infinity. It's a place where you can literally walk on water, and each step takes you closer to the heavens. Danxia Landform Wandering through a landscape that resembles nature's own canvas, the earth undulates in waves of reds, oranges, and yellows. This is the essence of the Danxia Landform, a distinctive type of geomorphology predominantly found in various regions of China. These striking landscapes are defined by their vivid color patterns, created from red-colored sandstones and conglomerates, mostly from the Cretaceous period. The term Danxia comes from Mount Danxia, one of the most famous examples of this natural phenomenon. Over millions of years, different colored sandstones and minerals were pressed together, then buckled up by tectonic plates. Erosion did the rest, carving out these incredible shapes and exposing the layers to create the breathtaking color patterns we see today. 
but Danxia isn't just a feast for the eyes. These formations tell a story of Earth's history, offering insights into the climatic and tectonic conditions that shaped our world. Each layer of rock is like a page in a book, chronicling the environmental changes over vast periods. For adventurers and geology enthusiasts, the Dangxia landform is a dream destination. Hiking through these landscapes is like stepping into another world, one where nature's artistry is on full display. The most famous of these, the Zhangye Dangxia National Geopark, offers some of the most picturesque views, with its peaks, cliffs, and valleys painted in an array of colors. As we conclude our journey through the 25 most wonderful natural phenomena in the world, we're left in awe of the planet's extraordinary beauty and the mysteries it holds. From the ethereal glow of bioluminescent waves to the surreal landscapes of the Dangxia landforms, each phenomenon we've explored is a reminder of Earth's endless wonders. Which of these natural marvels captivated you the most? Would you brave the fiery depths of the door to hell or marvel at the serene beauty of the Salar de Uyuni's mirror effect. Share your top picks in the comments below and let us know which phenomenon you'd love to witness firsthand. If this expedition through Earth's natural wonders has inspired you, don't forget to hit like and share this video with your fellow explorers. Together, let's continue to celebrate the beauty and diversity of our incredible planet. This is Stellar Eureka signing off.